Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. We've just seen what happened at the crime scene that I saw back there, so let's continue on back here and see what there is to see. So, I figured out the mystery of that building up there, with its secret portals. So let's go check out this house. Although I suspect this is the actual house where I was going between rooms. Because obviously the rooms that I, were, I was visiting from that house couldn't have actually been from that house because it's way too small. Let's go check out that building. Um, but actually, first, let's see what's over here. That view. Oh. This is an elevator, isn't it? I think there's a lift down there. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think that's gonna work. It seems to be missing the buttons. Wonder if I can repair that at some point. I don't know how I could repair that, though. I mean, you can't just, like, find a button and just shove it in there. It doesn't really work like that. I don't know. I doubt this thing actually has power. If it did have power, though, then I suppose I could maybe hotwire it or something. You know, shove some shove some foil in the little button area. I'm sure something would spark. Might kill me, but eh, what are you gonna do? Let's see if I can take the back entrance to the house. Ah, again. Okay, road continues on that way. I think I could just go up this mountain, too. I could probably just start walking up there. Yeah, this is the actual house that I was doing the portals through. Look at that HDR, too. That's really nice HDR. I've oftentimes found that HDR in games is quite often over... I'm not sure if it's over-exaggerated, but it's just done to an unpleasant degree. To the point where, like, if you'd look inside of a house like this, it would just be so damn dark you can't see anything. It's just kind of blinding and annoying, but this is just right. You know, it, the lighting changes enough that you can actually tell something's changing. But at the same time, it's not just, like, blinding and obnoxious. It's just right. Alright, so if I already visited this place through the portals, and I don't think anything's gonna you be- You need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. He said he found some secret room. Hmm. Yeah, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. Never mind. I was gonna say there's probably nothing to find here, but... It seems there is. Poking around the Vandergriff house. Right, the... Carters were living on the Vandergriff estate, was that it? Taking care of the Vandergriff estate? Something like that. Poking around old homes? Okay. Oh, hello. Ah, it's the old gang. Alright, so there's Ethan on the left. That's, I believe his name is Ed. Next to Ethan, that's his grandfather. There's Travis, the next one over, which is Ethan's brother, I think. Um, I'm not sure where the woman in the middle is. But the woman I was just talking was called Missy, uh, Missy, so maybe that's Missy. And then the two people on the right, I have no idea. Oh! Here we go, on the day the photo was taken. 
This is weird. Travis was loud. Well, he's a bit of a dick, isn't he? He is, after all, the one that wrote Gaylord on Ethan's magazine. Dad was sad. Mom was bad. Wait, is Missy Ethan's mom? Grab was quiet. Uncle Chad was mean. Okay, well... Well, Mom has to be the woman in the middle, which I'm assuming is Missy. Dad is probably the one... One from the right, and then... Uncle Chad was mean. Uncle Chad is probably the one all the way on the right, I'm guessing. I wonder if that's a clue to something. I mean, it just seems very strange, right? Loud, sad, mad, mean, quiet. It's very odd. It almost sounded like footsteps upstairs. Might have just been my own. What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room, I walked into it, that's it. So this house is... is this house the Vandergriff place? You can feel it, right? Something... Uh, something coming from the Vandergriff house. I can feel it. Ethan disturbed the sleeper. He must be punished. Whoa. The sleeper. Now, something that I'm wondering about is when they say that, right, uh, Ethan has woken up the sleeper and he needs to be punished. Something needs to be done about him. Is this an old, like, an old secret that all of them knew about? You know, they knew about this secret? And they're acting rationally? Which seems, un which seems unlikely. Or... Have they been, like I said before, kind of infected with something? Have they been, uh, possessed or something? By something that's been unleashed, and they're kind of acting out this entity's will, or protecting it. They're under its... control, or influence. That seems more likely. Alright, I was already in here. You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. Pop, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real. That really sounded like footsteps, but I think it's just random creaking. This old wooden place. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Alright, I think that's it for this place.
Let's check out these small buildings down here. By the way, am I the only one that finds this stuff very depressing? Whether it's in a game or real life, when you see a, a bench that just looks like it's in really poor condition. And it's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, looking out of place and it looks like nobody sat on it in years. For some reason I find that really, really depressing. Alright, it's just another utility thing, I think. Yeah, nothing special here. What about this, though? I think it's also another utility thing. Does this damn thing not even have a door? Oh, there it is. The door's on the front of the building, you don't say. There's a tunnel over that way. Let's go back up here. I want to go into the forest. Yeah, let's just set off up here. See if we can find anything. God, the forest floor looks amazing. Mmm. Questions about the future. But I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Okay. Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? I hope this is one of Ethan's stories. Do you feel there is vanity charity? Am I answering by moving my view? I think I am. Hold on. Let's test it. Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? Maybe not. Does death bring peace or suffering? Do you love for yourself or for others? I am I even answering? I don't, I don't even know. Would you rather be a leaf or a root? I was thinking, like, maybe the way I move my view is saying yes or no. Or maybe back and forwards is yes or no. I don't even know if I actually answered those questions or if that was, or if they were more uh, rhetorical questions or something. But um, either way, I'm here. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy. But the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Oh my. It's interesting. I wonder if these scrabbled out parts of this note have anything interesting. Like this. Looks like... I mean, I wonder if this was written by Ethan. It doesn't... fit the format. 
exactly. It doesn't have, like, a name to the story like Ethan's other things have had. The woman was to have a child. So this is, like, the crossed-out version of it. Turn to fear. The woman... I'm trying to look at the very last bit that's all scrabbled out. The woman... Uh, something more and... Uh, I don't know. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Okay, I guess it was one of Ethan's stories, which is good. Very good, because that was creepy. So it's best if that wasn't real. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and no, I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Now I'm just trying to figure out where I am exactly. Obviously I've gone deeper into the forest, but where did I come from? Was it down here? I know I was going uphill. Yeah. Okay. Got another beautiful viewpoint up here. Beautiful. I could spend so much time in this forest. Hmm, looks like there might be a pathway up here. Oh, what is that? Oh. This is a cemetery? God, that looks amazing.
Whoa. Is that blood? Let's visit that. Oh, yeah, no, that's gotta be blood, because there's blood here. Several different footprints. Yeah, no blood trail. A bunch of blood spilled here, and then it just disappears for a while. What does that mean? Are these things headstones? They don't really seem like it. I mean, headstones normally have the person's name and, you know, when they were born, when they died. in German. You, uh, seem to be missing your hands. So I'm assuming the road leads up here, right? Or maybe not, actually. That road is really far down there. Unless it leads around... there. I'm trying to make sense of my surroundings. Because I want to make sure I don't miss any pathways. Ooh, I can go inside. Before that, let's look around here and make sure this road meets up where I think it does. Yeah, that goes down. Okay, yeah, that meets up where I think it does. So I just took the forest route. There's the road route. Hmm, anything over here? Nope. So it looks like there's a road that also continues on. Alright, let's go inside. Very dark in here. Very dark. This place is actually pretty creepy. Uh, I want a flashlight. Jesus, I can't see anything. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <gasps> is that it? Oh, it's broken, isn't it? Yep. Look at that thing. That thing is so beat up. It's wonderful, though. All those details, like... Something like this looking so beat up and obviously well used. It just makes it feel so real, you know? Because that's how these things would be. You know, they get used all the time. They would look all beat up. Although this one is obviously a little bit more beat up than normal, because it looks like somebody... dropped it. I guess I won't be using it. Ooh. That's not safe.
Any other pathways? Doesn't seem so. Let's move on to the scene of the crime, I, I guess. I'm assuming. I don't know. There's blood here. I'm guessing some crime happened. Mmm, thing of kerosene or gasoline and a box of matches. Oil lamp. Okay, let's fix that. So we're reconstructing the scene. Alright, so there's a blood stain here. Let's just come at it from here. Blood stain there. Multiple people. for any more bits of blood other than what's on that building over there. Is that... ash? Cement? Oh, yeah. So somebody was in the process of constructing something? Hmm. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's a bunch of crows. Is that a bucket of blood? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Indeed. Something, something, something. down there. Yeah, it's down there. Oh god, I can't see anything. That's a body. Someone's been stabbed. I think that's, um... What was his name? Uh, Chad? Uh, the uncle? At least that's who I thought that was from the picture. The big guy. The, the big guy that the picture... Um, what was written on the back of the picture said like he was angry or something. Some fucked up ritual happened here. A sacrifice to Klepeth? Oh yeah, look, somebody was working on filling this place in with bricks. That's what they were doing. They got, well, they barely started. And then I guess they were interrupted. Vandergriff. It's the Vandergriff grave, huh? Or, actually, that's not a grave, that's a... What do you call that? I'm not sure what you call this thing. The crypt? Did you call it a crypt? Oh my god, it's really dark in here. What the hell is this thing? Crow? Oh, I see, there should be a crow on the other handle. Oh, okay, it's by one of those grave things.
Which one was it? Perhaps I should have waited for more clues. Oh no, here it is. I guess there's nothing to do but pull this lever, even though I have no idea what it does. Well, that's fancy. That's a very unorthodox method of lighting, and uh, a very dangerous one, too. Very creepy. It's almost like it was invented for creepy sacrifice chambers. There's that symbol that was on the outside, inside again. It's a bladed crow. It's a very unorthodox weapon. Not a practical one, a very ritualistic one. It is certainly not a practical weapon. Cause of death? Uh, stabbed. Postmortem? Hmm. Well, there are multiple shoe prints back at the blood stain. No blood coming out of the wound where he was stabbed, so I guess he was killed first. But there's a lot of blood behind him. Which, yeah, sounds like maybe he was hit in the back. Or something. Superficial wound on the face. Let's see if we have enough. No, so we're missing something. Something is not as it should be. Perhaps the blade. Yeah, I think the blade needs to be put back somewhere. Where would it go? Can I <laughs> unlight this? No. I didn't think so. I mean, it looks like these things, right? Hold on. Here lies my beloved wife. A Metz Vandergriff. Right, I think I need to do something with this blade. But what? That's fixed. It's been put back in its place. But where did this come from? Someone took this blade from somewhere, but where? I have it in my inventory, so I obviously have to put it back.
Did I ever check out this little tower thing? Oh no, that's kind of inside of the church. Yeah. It's a weird little connected bit. Hmm. I don't think I'd have to go much further than I've already gone to reconstruct the scene. Meaning I don't think I need to go somewhere new. I think I've just missed something from where we've already been. Ah, there's nothing in here. Can't even see a damn thing. And I already got the torch room in here, so... Or the lantern, so I don't think there'd be another item. Ooh, you know, I know where this goes. It's here. Boom. Alright, that should do it. Okay, three people here. So we have... I think that's Chad. That's Missy, so that'd be Ethan's mother, and that's, um... The father of... I don't remember his name. Yep, stabbed in the back. Hmm, but it looks like he was attacking. So, self-defense? There's a superficial face wound. What about the back wound? It's weird. I don't see a wound on his back. Did he go down here and then come out and then get stabbed in the back? Right, just the two of them. Once again, just the two of them. Oh, no, no, that's... Oh, Travis. What the hell are you doing here? Is that the only one where Travis shows up? Or did I misidentify him? I mean, this is not Travis. No. Is it? I don't think so. It's a full moon, isn't it? I hear wolves. Okay, um, as for the order, I really don't know. You had to have been stabbed in the back here, right? Otherwise, where did this blood come from? A superficial face cut could not possibly have made that much blood. No way. Maybe it's just from the... Maybe the blood is from the birds? I don't know, it looks like she's... wondering what he's doing, like, what are you doing here, are you alright? What is he looking at? He's looking to the right. I 
All right, well, let's try this. So this is number one. Okay, we're starting. What happened next? It's kind of like the setup. It seems like this one happened and then that one happened. You know, he's stumbling around and his head hurts. But then what about this one? I don't know. Let's go with that one next and... And then this one and then that one. And then let's give it a shot. The hell's going on? Where's Ethan? The one who sleeps last night. Okay, that didn't last long. So, the first one is wrong. So this is the first one, that's the second one? Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. The hell's going on? Where's Ethan? Alright, so this one did happen first, so maybe this one happened last, actually. What the hell's going on? Where's, where's Ethan? So Ethan was being bricked up in here and being given to the sleeper. Well, in that case, this would be number two? And then three, four, five. Our boy. Chad, get off of him. No. Yeah, so Chad was attacking him. remember how I had this set up before. Isn't that the way I just had it before? Our boy. Chad, let me see. Okay, that's also not the next one. Okay, so the second one isn't that one, and the second one isn't this one, and the second one isn't that one, then doesn't it have to be this one? Is that the next one? Our boy, you know he's harmless. You know this is wrong. Chad, finish those bricks before he wakes up. Ah, my oh. oh. Chad, let me see it. Get the hell away from me. He should have been helping! Dale's weak. He always has been. You're right. He is weak. Chad! Get off of him! He's your brother! Get off of him! the hell's going on? Where's Ethan? The one who sleeps must not sleep. Your Uncle Chad is dead. Gross. Ethan. It's not right. Ethan's our boy. 
Dad, I need to get into the mine. What? Mine? My, my key. I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just, just keep Mom away from me, all right? She's sick. You're all sick. The sleeper must not sleep. Ethan disturbed something. Whatever it was, it got out, into the air, and into the minds of his family. So he said he has to go into the... the mines. Ethan. There's apparently a tunnel near the gate. Okay. So basically something horrible happened and then everybody just started tearing everyone apart. Like, it, well, it started tearing everyone apart. They started just killing each other. I mean, family members, not strangers, but... Brother on brother and grandfather on son and... And so on. By the way, look at this scene right here. Tell me. Can you see it? There's something in this scene. Look around for it. Do you see it? Do you see it? Smiley face! Smiley face building, look at that! It's so happy! It's just happy to be alive. Well, it, it's not really alive. But it's just happy to be here. Anyway. Oh, right. Everybody's been, like, murdered and stuff. Um, that's kind of a downer. Okay, well, anyway... <laughs> Um, I hope you have enjoyed so far. I think I'm going to end this episode here. And when I return, I will continue up this path and see what there is to find, which I suspect the next thing I'm going to find is probably going to be the mines. <laughs>